video we will see push down automata pda as we know finite automata having many limitation means many languages which we cannot represent with the help of finite automata so push down automata is nothing but finite automata along with its own memory that is the stack pda is nothing but finite automata plus stack so that's why first statement is written push down automata is more powerful than finite automata second is what cfl can be recognized by the pda so context free languages which we can show with the help of pda example a is to n b is to n this is the language so this language easily we can represent using pda but this is not possible using finite automata because in finite automata we cannot store this n number means if my string is a raised to 3 b raised to 3 i need to store means count of a and same count should be there of b that thing we cannot do with the help of finite automata same for palindrome w w r this is the palindrome example is a b b a this is the example so this part half part should be same like this but in reverse manner so this is nothing but the palindrome which we cannot represent using finite automata in push down automata these languages can be easily recognized for every cfl for every C cfl as well as for all regular languages we can represent with the help of push down automata now how uh, push down automata is working so this is uh, this is the example this is the input string finite automata along with stack Okay, this is the stack. So we are reading one by one character, just like finite automata. So we'll take uh, this is the example of a raised to n, b raised to n. So here string is a raised to four, b raised to four. Now we will check how this string is accepted. The logic behind is this: what we will push all the a's in the stack, and whenever we are getting b characters, every a we will going to. So first. we will read one by one a character from the input string so we will push all the characters with the help of this pointer we are reading letter by letter or the character by character this is the sigma then whenever we are getting b for every b we will pop 1 2 3 and 4 if i am reaching to the empty stack means if stack is empty that means that string is accepted means this string is nothing but a raised to n b raised to n means a raised to 4 b raised to 4 let us consider if my string is a raised to 5 b raised to 4 now we will check for this for every a letter we will push all letters in the stack now for b we will pop one by one so pop a this a this one and this one means i am reaching to the end of string but one more a is present in the stack that means this string is rejected which is not following the a is to n b is to n context free language so this is rejected because a is present in the stack same way a is to 3 b is to 3 will be happen means we will push all a 3 a will be in stack and for b for b 1 b 2 b 3 b 1 b is remaining this string a is to 3 b is to for this string is rejected by the push down automata in such a way we can represent this context free language with the help of push down automata just now we saw we have taken stack so in data structure we already saw different operations on stack a uh, push operation pop operation and we also done that operation over here so pda does following things first it is reading input or input string character by character then second is simultaneously we are checking with the uh, stack characters we are just comparing like that so we are performing operations on stack so which operation first we are doing push operation then pop operation so push operation for a we have pushed into the stack for b we are popping whatever pushed into the stack means that a characters we are popping one by one so pop operation no operation means in some cases we are just reading the 
stack content that is nothing but the no operation nop and one more thing is check empty stack condition so empty stack condition means if i am reaching to the end of string and also nothing is present in the stack means stack is empty this is the condition when my string is accepted that input string is following given uh, context free language so at that time this empty stack condition is required so these are the operations which we are going to take place with the help of push down automata watch next videos for more detail about push down automata detail explanation on stacks of pda then more examples on pda we are going to cover in next videos thank you if you like this video click on like button and do not forget to subscribe the channel click on bell button to get notification of new video thank you